Jeremy Ryan reporting from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee, www.defendingwisconsin.org. We're sitting here uh, outside the Capitol. Thank you. I'm recording one of the videos right now. Here, there's here's some fans uh, outside the Capitol. I've met quite a few today. There we go. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. Some slobs. Yeah. Yeah. We got some slobs over here, people. We better watch out. And it looks like they got some of uh, some of those filthy materials too. <laughs> yeah. That filthy propaganda, yeah. those papers, you know. Oh, you can't have Walker signs because Grossman would consider it filthy in uh, context with us slobs. <laughs> you're, you're pretty talented. You can like balance and you know, run a laptop at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I could do no firm hands. You have on your back. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah. I could do no hands. I could do two yeah. hands. I could do one hand. I could do whatever. Anything. Well, I'm going to finish this broadcast, show the people everything that's going on over there, and I'll come back and talk a little bit more. Thank you. Have a good one. So we're going to go over to State Street, and I'll show you um, our uh, nice uh, crew over here. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to go after them. Hey, was that your YouTube I saw with the confrontation with the second floor banner? Yep. Uh, cool. Yeah. Good, good one. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been on the uh, upper floors every day since, and they haven't given me any crap. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Are you filming right now? Yeah. Yeah, filming, showing people what's going on over here. Hi, Gloria. Hey, how are you guys? There we go, folks. As you can see, we're still getting numbers, we're still getting crowds. People are still uh, coming in solidarity on a Saturday to show that uh, we're not going to take it. We're not going to allow them to overrun our, uh, overrun our government and destroy our democracy. As uh, we go down to the street over here, you'll see uh, groups of people just uh, marching. Here's some, uh, here's some of those union thugs, obviously. Yeah, so, so mean. Don't, they look so mean, don't they? <laughs> They look so mean. No, not really. But uh, here we go. Oh yeah, look, it's a, it's a, it's a dog. dog for it's a dog for democracy. We love our dogs for democracy. Right. There we go. We love our dogs for democracy. Um, as you can see, you know, we still get some numbers here on a Saturday. We're still going around. People are still coming out, which is good. Uh, now, I do want to say, today an article was published because we decided to add J.B. Van Hollen to our recall efforts. Uh, now, I do also want to note that upon looking at J.B. Van Hollen's website, I saw a couple of uh, very dangerous things. The first is, in his illegal immigration, uh, illegal immigration section, he says he wants to uphold the laws in Arizona. Now, that's scary, folks. That's scary. Uh, that's real scary here to have here. Hey, yeah. How's it going? Good. Just doing a broadcast here. Girl? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go, folks. Here's the people, the crowd. The people united will never be divided. How's it going? See, as you can see, folks, it's getting so violent around here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I better go. I fear for my safety. Not really. Oh. Young. <laughs> oh. It's like you guys don't have coverage. Now, I do want to note that the Capitol is now closed. I only note that because uh, that's typically when the crowds clear out, but we still got a decent amount of people here uh, for, uh, you know, 
No, after four. <laughs> More dogs for democracy. We love our dogs for democracy. Vote Kloppenberg. Now this, for all, my, for all my viewers in Wisconsin, this is an important point. We must be sure to vote for Kloppenberg. And for my Dane County viewers, Parisi as well. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm giving a recommendation for Soglin, whether uh, Soglin or Cheslevich go. Uh, you know, either one is still going to help us out. I do see Soglin a lot more. Um, I only seem to see Dave Cheslevich here when there's cameras. And when there's a press opportunity, whereas Soglin just likes to, uh, just likes to, uh, you know, show up just to protest with us. There we go. There we go. There we go, folks. Oh, there's another dog for democracy. We love our dogs for democracy. Oh, there's a couple more dogs for democracy. Here we go. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm actually recording one right now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, certainly. There we go. Sure. Not a problem. There we go. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Our signs are a big hit. It's the sign you've been seeing. Um, I've been showing you viewers a lot. That I have seen the face of democracy. This ain't it. Uh, it's a wonderful sign. Definitely. Uh, we decided to make it a little more personal and put his face on there. Yeah, certainly. There you go. Not a problem. Decided to make it a little more personal and put his face on there. Um, but regardless, folks. Uh, it is important that we still keep coming out uh, and that we vote Kloppenberg. Uh, if you live in Wisconsin and if you live in uh, Dane County, vote Parisi. And uh, if you live in Madison, then I'm really pr pushing for Soglin, Paul Soglin. He's been, uh, he's been here a lot more than uh, Dave Chislevich has. Uh, he's been with us. He'll be a stronger fighter against Governor Walker. And uh, Dave Chislevich only seems to show up when the cameras are there. So. Uh, definitely my support goes towards Sagwa. But even if you do vote Cheslevich or you do, uh, you do have a strong preference towards Cheslevich, I don't hold it against you. Uh, you know, he's still uh, one of us. So regardless, um, you know, we're still going to be lucky in the mayor's spot. Now, the other thing I noticed on J.B. Van Hollen's website that I wanted to share with everybody is under the election integrity section. It says he sent, uh, he sent uh, Department of Justice agents to monitor polling for election integrity. Oh, I'm doing a broadcast. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah it'll be on YouTube, DefendingWisconsin.org. Right. Great. Yeah. Um, but he sent uh, DOJ agents to polling places to uh, monitor the elections. Now, this is a way that the Republicans could easily tamper with the elections. Now, uh, DOA agents, uh, or DOJ agents, the only DOJ agents I've ever seen were the DCI thugs. Now, these people are the people that are dressed up in all camel, um, almost looks a little more hardcore than military gear. And uh, they were pushing people around. They were very rude when they were here at the Capitol. So I wouldn't put it past them to try to uh, intimidate and spike some elections. So we need to have a poll observer at every single polling place in Wisconsin. I'll be working the polls at Gordon Commons, uh, so if anyone wants to stop in and see me, I'll be working the polls on April 5th at Gordon Commons uh, in Madison. That is right there on uh, East Campus Mall, so if you want to stop in, I'll be working from one to close. Uh, oh, look at here. Another dog for democracy. This one's a union goon. Oh, well, we missed him. Oh, look, this dog wants to say Recall Walker. Recall Walker, right? Yeah. That's Get right. That's what he's saying. He's saying recall Walker, folks. Look at this dog. This is a union goon right here. 
Ooh, and a union thug. Ooh. He looks so scary. I don't know if I would want to mess with that union thug. He looks just really scary. But, uh, folks, uh, be sure to have a poll observer at every single place in the state of Wisconsin uh, because we really need to make sure. We really need to make sure that uh, J.B. Van Hollen and his uh, DCI thugs are not spiking our election results. And that's the bottom line. Jeremy Ryan reporting from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee, www.defendingwisconsin.org. Have a wonderful day.